Moving from DC, getting over to that smaller press with IDW, we get Star Wars Adventures Clone Wars, where we're getting issues one through five, all hitting FOC at the first, all hitting FOC at the same time. And another thing I like about this book is it's written by Michael Morrissey. I'm a big fan of Wasted Space from Vault Comics. I'm glad he stayed in that whole space adventure and going over to Star Wars with Clone Wars. Well, I also think this is a cool opportunity for him to kind of step out of that independent creator owned realm and into that kind of like classic property even if it's done through an all ages format with idw um this is one of my big picks i think for this week if you really look at it and it, it's one to really keep an eye on first off we've seen in star wars comics are hot and yes that is the kylo ren stuff the marvel stuff definitely the more adult oriented stuff but i caution you on a couple things number one all ages does not mean for children. It means for all, all ages. ages. Right. <laughs> children and adults. So you're not, sometimes I feel like there's a sentiment that these are, um, you know, kitty books. And that's not really the case. It's really in line with, honestly, the, the Star Wars movies because the Star Wars movies are essentially, you know, aimed towards all ages. Um, so I don't really think that, that there's... Um, anything different there other than maybe like the art styles a little more rounded a little softer cartoony um but the main reason and i mentioned this earlier that we're going to be talking about books for different reasons and it's why i love this show it's still my favorite show on the channel it and this is because as brian mentioned this is a weekly series meaning instead of coming out once a month it's coming out once a week and these five issues are going to come out in five consecutive weeks so they're all hitting foc at once this is unique you do, don't see it very often we've seen it before and because we've seen it before we kind of can look back at history and expect a few kind of trends and one of those is you're not going to see a huge print run on this series in general because any order that somebody's going to have to put in they're going to have to put in for all five issues so you're looking at it and that all is hitting them at one point now these may ship week to week to week so you're not paying for them all at once you're paying for them every week but you've got to put that order in all at one time and you have to gauge interest so if issue number one comes out and it's this smash success that everybody loves you can't go back and get more issue two issue three issue four and issue five this is one that i can see a lot of stores just getting for the subscribers and maybe a couple for the wall and there are incentives for all five issues, one in 10 incentives. And you know what one in 10 incentives and what IDW incentives can do on the secondary market, especially when they are ghost. And, it's, and this is again, Star Wars and the demand. We've seen it with the, with the Vader series, the Vader Castle series. I think this one has a lot of potential. Yeah, and the good thing about this and good thing about the show is if you're interested in getting this, get those pre-orders in. So that way there's still some on the shelves for the kids that actually want to read the book. 